Hello, my crafty friends. Well, today we are going to play around with a fun little technique. It is called stamp kissing, and I have two different ways you can use this technique in your card making. Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. Thanks so much for joining me today. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have a variety of card ideas to share, which feature this fun stamp kissing technique. So we will be using this technique to create backgrounds and to create some focal points for our cards. And I'll show you how you can use it with ink or you can use it with embossing. Now the cards in this video feature a variety of stamp sets. The first stamp set is called Timeless Tiles. So this is the stamp set we are gonna use for our kissing technique. I will also be using the gorgeously made stamp set from Stampin' Up. And this stamp set has a solid image. So when you are using the kissing technique, you wanna make sure that you have a solid image and you have an image that has some design in it because the two images are going to kiss. They're going to stick together. We're gonna to stick them together and we're gonna get a fun little design on our stamp. So I'll show you how that works. But I'm also using this particular image from the artistically inked stamp set. If you use it as is, it creates this fun little design, but we are going to use this image with the timeless tiles image to do the stamp kissing technique and to create this fun little design on our cards. All right, so let's get started. Okay, so the first way that you can use the stamp kissing technique in your card making is just to use it with a larger image to create a fun little background for your card. So that's what I'm going to do to create this card. All right, so to use the stamp kissing technique, we need two different images. So I have this very detailed image here, which is the timeless tiles image. So it's a very large background stamp. And then I'm also going to be using kind of this watercolor image from the artistically inked stamp set. So that's this particular image right here. And so I recommend a, a larger image like this that is more solid um, because we're going to stamp this solid image directly onto this very detailed image to create our little technique here. So I'm gonna start with a piece of white cardstock, which is four by five and a quarter inches. And then I'm going to take some pretty peacock ink and I'm just going to ink up this image, this large image. You don't have to ink the whole thing because now I'm going to take this image here and I'm going to kiss it or stamp it onto that image. And you'll see I get that fun little tile across here. So now I'm just going to stamp this on my card. So I get that little tile design on here. So now you have to rinse this off, clean this off. All right, so I cleaned off the image and now I'm just gonna add a little bit more ink kind of right in the center here. And then I'm just gonna do this again. So I'm just going to stamp it onto that large image and then I'm going to stamp it onto my cardstock. And you see you get a really fun design on there using this image. So you can use any solid image to uh, use this stamp kissing technique. Okay, so here is what our background looks like. So now we're ready to create our card. So I am just using some pretty peacock cardstock. It's the same color that I used here to create that background design with the kissing technique. So I just added a bit of glue to the back here and we will just adhere this right to our card front. And then I'm using some of the masterfully made designer series paper and just some of the die cuts from the gorgeously made. So this piece is about one inch by four and a quarter inches. So we'll just add this to our card here. And then a piece of designer paper, just a different pattern, which is one by three and three quarter inches. That's going to go here. And then I just have a two by three and a quarter inch piece of vellum. 
So we'll add the vellum. And then I just took some pretty peacock cardstock and just created one of the die cut shapes from the gorgeously made bundle. And I'm just gonna put this right in the center. And then you can just add embellishments or a little greeting um, and anything else that you want to kind of jazz up your card with. So that's the basic design. I really wanted to just focus on this technique more than uh, putting the cards together. So don't forget you can download the printable tutorial which will have all the step-by-step -step instructions for creating this card. And then here's just another design that I created. This time I used some berry burst in the background. So just some fun ways that you can use that kissing technique in your card making. Okay, so for the second card, um, I still have that background like I just showed you, except for I did it in a different color. But for this card, I wanna show you how to use heat embossing to create your focal points. So if you can see the, the leaves here have that fun little tile design on each of the leaves. So I'm gonna show you how to create that. So I just started with a two and a half by four inch piece of fresh freesia cardstock. And I used one of the dies from the gorgeously made uh, bundle just to kind of create the fun little design on the top here. I'm going to bring in some scrap paper and then we'll bring back our tile design here. And this time we are going to ink up the tile using Versamark. So I'm just going to use my Versamark pad and I'm just going to add a variety of Versamark here to this tile image. This time I'm going to use this leaf right here from the gorgeously made stamp set and we are going to take that and just kiss it to the tile and then we are going to stamp it on our project. Now you probably can't see that, but you will in a minute. So now I'm just gonna add some white embossing powder. And you can see how we get that tile image kind of embedded into the leaf image. So I'm gonna go ahead and heat this image to set it. Okay, so I just heat set the image and you can see that we have that fun little tile design. It just gives it a little bit of texture here um, compared to if I just stamped it plain, you wouldn't have any design in the leaves. So it's just kind of a fun way to use your stamp images. Okay, so that is the focal point for the card. So now let's do that kissing technique to create the background. So I have my tile image here and I'm going to use some fresh freesia and we are going to add that to this tile image. And then I'm going to use that large stamp again. And I have a four by five and a quarter inch piece of white cardstock. So I'm just going to kiss these two stamps together. And then we will add this up in the corner here. And then I need to do this side as well. So now you can just re-ink it, just add a little bit more ink and make sure that you clean off the image so you clean off any of that texture, any of that design that is still on the image. And then you just kiss the two images together and then stamp it on your cardstock. All right, so now we are ready to make our card. So I have a piece of fresh freesia cardstock for the base of the card. So I'm just gonna add this background piece. Then I have a two by three and a quarter inch piece of vellum and a one by four inch piece of the designer paper. So I'm just going to add these two together. So we'll just put this right down the middle here. And then we will add our focal point, which we did some heat embossing with. So I will add that. So I'm basically just creating a bunch of layers here. Okay, so I just added a bunch of dimensionals to the back 
And now this can get popped up right in the center of the card. And look how pretty that is. And then you can go ahead and add your greeting. I did a little bit of heat embossing with my greeting, so I can add that right off to the side here. And then you can embellish it with some different gems. Just creates a really beautiful card. So besides the heat embossing for the focal point, you can also heat emboss your background. So I did a little bit of heat embossing here on the Fresh Freesia cardstock just to create that fun little textured design behind here. And then I did stamping instead. So instead of heat embossing, I stamped my image here using some pretty peacock ink. So there's just lots of fun ways that you can use this technique in your card making. Okay, so there you go. Now you have a variety of different ways that you can use the stamp kissing technique in your card making. And if you enjoyed these card ideas, feel free to download the printable tutorial. You can find the link in the description below this video. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it and sharing it with your friends. And leave me a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and the cards shared here today. Have a fun and creative day, my friends. Take care.